Hey family, I'm Stephanie Wade. I'm Habasia, helping your brothers and sisters in Africa. And no, even though I look like I could have been anywhere in the motherland, I'm still in my backyard garden in Galveston, Texas. I do practice permaculture while I'm here. Please come with me on a journey to the Gambia right now. I want you to see the update from the food forest. Come, come, come y'all. Enjoy, enjoy. And y'all, the jewelry I got on today did not come from the motherland. All came from people, brothers and sisters in Houston, Texas. We have Pan-African communities all over the United States, and they have vendors so you can buy black, you know, and you can just take your time and find all beautiful jewelry that you want right here in the USA that you think might have come from Africa someplace. But I'm just saying that for the people who want some of the jewelry out well. Lots of it just comes straight out of Houston <laughs> or anywhere else that I travel, Louisiana or whatever, if they have a Pan-African uh, affair and they have tables, you know, like Kwanzaa, and they have tables where you can go and shop with the vendors and you can just enjoy yourself. The prices are reasonable because they create these beautiful works of art themselves. And sometimes you can find them on Instagram as well. You just have to just search. As they say, seek and you shall find. But most of my stuff is one of a kind. And I'll be happy when I find them at the vendor's table. So, come. Come check out our team at Jamba and Jelly. They're waiting for you. Oh, this is this is great. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. I'm so grateful. I'm so happy and delighted. I remember the first day when we came here. I told the group that the land is very small. Then nothing was here. To us, it was very big. But please. Just look, somebody is standing there, you can't even see them. Huh? So that shows you that you know we have almost done phase one of our achievement job. So I believe we can do even hundreds of this. Because every year we can do one, 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 one. So imagine if you can replicate this hundred times, two hundred times, one thousand times, one million times. How much can you change? How much can you contribute to the environment, to the life of the people, to the food basket? So this is why I say every journey begins with a step. And that step is the key. You have to know how to, where to put your step. And thank God we are in the wrong right hand. Uh, we have our dear mother who is always thinking about us. And we are also determined. And that is teamwork. So we can only succeed together but not as individuals. So on that note, I thank the group. We are here again. We're going to complete the cleaning today. And then the next will be transplanting of the aubergine, etc., and planting other seeds. So this is the beginning. I am so grateful. I cannot even put on Sue because I want to feel that I am working. In the slow interview. <laughs> yes, good morning. We are back to have a food for us. All the members are busy this morning. We are reading. Yeah. This is taking out the grass. Reading. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, morning, morning. Good. Yes, good morning, family. <laughs> Welcome back to the Habasia Food Forest in Jambuangeli. As usual, every Sunday, as you can see, as Mr. Bajan.
like you said, today we are just removing the weeds and then transplanting the over yield and then planting the seeds that we have from the last time. So here we are, we are in a rosin hour once it was from then, so we want to make a quick. yeah, make a quick job before to remove the weeds before the rain might come and then we start to do the transplanting and then planting the seed. Mm -hmm. So we wish you a wonderful Sunday at the Habasia Food Forest. And then please, the people that are donating to go for me account, please keep on donating. The changes that you want to see in the world is here we are. So we thank you so much, especially the people that are donating. Thank you so much. We are so grateful. Abarak Abarak. Yes, good morning, Yaya. Yeah, good morning. How are you? Fine. So hello to viewers. Hello to donators and all members of Kora Kora and our dear mom. Yeah, as I always say, you know, the sky is, is the limit and, you know, uh, no man is an island. That's why we do things together. We come here and clear all grasses, you know. As I always say, grow what you eat and eat what you grow. And the main concept about permaculture is eat natural food. The food that you grow, you don't put any chemical, you don't put nothing that will harm you. Everything is natural. So the donators keep donating. You are not wasting your money. So seeing is the believing. As you are seeing now, everybody is busy. Even our driver is doing something. So there's no man who is useless in in Habasia Food Forest. So the donators, you are not wasting your money. Keep donating. And our dear mom, thank you. So God bless you. One love, one family. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning, this is Seni. He is planting the moringas. Seni, morning. Morning, uh, Yakub. How are you? I'm fine, and you? Good. You are uh, going this, to transplant the Yes, moringas. I'm just coming to, you know, plant uh, moringa. This is moringa. Okay. Our local names is, you know, Neverdice. Neverdice. Yeah. That is a very nice tree. Okay. Very nice tree. Mm -hmm. Yeah, our locals, you know, Cooking, when they cook this, if you eat, you'll say that it's nice, you know, foods, you know. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm just coming to, you know, plants. Okay. You have many trees here. You know, uh, we, we, we separate uh, Mr. Baji, our teachers, mm -hmm. and the Salifu. They are plants, another, you know, trees. Uh, trees. They are plants, another, another seed. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, okra, and then, you know, uh, sorrel, you know, seeds. Mm -hmm. They are planting many things here. We just come into, you know, plants. This is, you know, moringa. moringa. I'm just making a hole here. I make making a holes. After, you know, plants all, you know, in these gardens. Mm. If you come next time, you will see many, many, many more uh, uh, moringas. moringas here. Thank you very much, yeah. our dear mom Stephanie. Bye bye. Transplanted. So, Alhamdulillah, this is the fruit of our labor. I remember the when we were nursing, nursing them, only in the form of seed. Today, you see, we are harvesting them as fruits. And this is the third or fourth harvest. So, that shows you that you know, from one seed, it grows into a plant, and that plant can give you fruit with many seeds. So, you can see also, not only me harvesting, but others are also harvesting uh, the soil. And thank God, this is all through our sacrifice and through our wisdom and through the help of our dear mom, Stephanie. Without your support, we wouldn't have gone this far. But this can save us money and can also give us money. And since we grow it with our own hand, we know how we produce it. We use everything here is organic. So thank God, Alhamdulillah. So this is what we want to promote. Yeah, as human beings, wherever you are, as long as you have enough food around you, Farmer said you are 100% secure. Uh, for security of man is basic needs. And among the basic needs is food, shelter, and clothing. So on the food, the one you grow, 
is healthier and safer. So on that note, I thank the group, I thank the, uh, our supporters, I thank everyone uh, who in one way or the other, uh, you know, work with us until we reach this far. Thank you so much. I'm so delighted, so delighted. Uh, different teamwork, some are busy transplanting cacao, some uh, moringa, uh, so some of us are doing other planting like sorrel, aubergine. Um, this we are planted last week, the maize, and then the pumpkin, they are all sprouted. And then generally we are so grateful, to be honest with you. It seems that, you know, anytime you come here, we are always impressed. Why? Because the, uh, things are progressing according to our wish. And thank God, Alhamdulillah. That could not have been possible without collective participation, uh, determination, dedication, and of course, working as a team. Uh, so that's what I want to emphasize today, teamwork. Without the team, uh, nobody can do it all. Uh, the best player need the weak player. Because without the weak player, you will not be the best player. Okay. Messi, 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 Messi. Because the people he can dribble, the goalkeepers he could score. But if all the goalkeepers are good, like him, and all the footballers are good, like Messi, then who will you call Messi? So he wouldn't have the opportunity to uh, score all those goals. But thank God, in any competition, uh, somebody has to be weak so that the strong will be known. In any competition, somebody has to be poor so that the rich will be known. In any competition, somebody has to be a, a leader so that the one he led could be known. So therefore, here I'm just the servant of the group. Technically, I'm so impressed. Whatever I tell them, we always ask, agree and disagree, and we continue. That's why we achieve all this within this short period. Well, so, as are... was promised, this is my backyard garden in Galveston, Texas. This is my... Uh red okra here it's growing nicely all the red okras it's so hot though y'all look at the leaves drooping it's in the heat of the day this is my boys and berry right there my mustards i will give them water as soon as it cools off a little bit i did give them water yesterday but apparently when it's hot they'll droop anyway and this is my sunflowers y'all they doing so good i hope wherever you are you're having a wonderful and a blessed day and that you are earthing in your garden as well this is my bitter leaf y'all my figs i finally have one they look like it's okay to harvest even if I leave it ripen more in my house till tomorrow and here's another one that's getting close to me to being able to be harvested maybe by the end of the day it'll be uh, ripe enough but it's just right here y'all sometimes they fall off before they ready to be harvested or the squirrel gets their share their fair share i do share with the squirrels but this fig got to a nice little size and at least it's somewhat purple i have lots of sunflower seeds they spread themselves in the wind and with the birds and I just let them do their thing back here, y'all. It's like a little permaculture garden. This banana tree is decorative for the most part. It's never had bananas on it, even though the first tree came from the other neighbor's yard. The root system planted the tree here. That tree actually did have bananas, but these have never. But anyway, y'all, they give good oxygen and good shade, and they definitely give me good breezes. This is my Okinawa sweet potatoes. They still here. I watered them yesterday, but it's still so hot. They also limping. I'm going to give them some more water later. The cabbages I planted in here did not grow. I don't know what's growing in here, though, y'all. 
sometimes you plant one thing and the seeds just don't grow. I don't know why. Y'all, this is my fig tree that mostly gives me shade. It has some figs on it, y'all, but they're not really growing to be big figs. I don't know if they'll ever ripen up enough for me to eat. I had a branch on here, but it was cut by someone who don't know anything about growing trees and not cutting them while they're fruiting. Like it doesn't grow fruit back overnight or branch back overnight. I don't know what happened with my squirrels, y'all. I just think it's another missed intervention <laughs> from somebody else who's also shares in my backyard. They put composting material underneath the tree that's on, on top of concrete. And that's where the squirrels used to come and run across and uh, go harvest their figs on the tree. I miss them, y'all. I might have to move this stuff out of the way so they can come back again. Because I have seen them around the neighborhood. They were so interesting, y'all. <laughs> what are y'all growing in y'all's backyard, wherever y'all are? Are y'all growing in containers? Are y'all growing in y'all's uh, front yard like flowers? Let me know. I'm interested. Do y'all do permaculture? You grow what you eat, you eat what you grow? Or are you just thinking about it? Remember, anytime you want encouragement for growing permaculture, we're growing with the permaculture process. Go on my channel and look at all of the videos we have at the food forest. And you will see that we started off with nothing a little more than a year ago. I mean, just barren land. Didn't even have a fence up. And now we have lots and lots of different fruits, vegetables, trees, lots and lots of diversity. We harvest all the time and that is the way it's supposed to be, that you grow so many things that you're harvesting always and we have a local well and hopefully that we'll keep getting water in that well so when it's not rainy season we can continue to grow, to grow very well by just watering them. We have a little generator and a pump that makes the generator pump the water up so it's easier to just water your plants. It makes it very convenient. Noisy, but convenient. One day we'll figure out a better way, I'm sure. But until then, we doing our best, y'all. I hope you enjoyed this latest update from the Habasa Food Forest and Jambangeli to Gambia, as well as my little tiny backyard garden in Galveston, Texas. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please do comment, like, share. If you want to be a part of the change you want to see in the world and join us, help us to do the permaculture project from week to week even. <laughs> it costs money week to week for everybody to just get there, not to talk of the buying the seeds and trees and other things that we plant for diversity. A hundred percent of what you give, one hundred percent is used in the food forest project. And whatever is not received 
I make up the difference, y'all. Because the project is small right now. But it's a, a project, y'all, that's nice size. So even if we have to do it slowly by slowly, we continue, like they say, the struggle continues. No, our progress continues. It's just that with the help of you, 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 each little five dollars on it, or five pounds, or five whatever money that you use, it adds up to help us to get the things that we need. And the first big thing that we want to do is a duplex roundhouse. One side will be for the security person, land manager, and the other half will be for the volunteers that's coming when I'm not there. And when I'm there, so I have a place to stay. Because whenever I go there and stay in the Airbnb, y'all, it costs a lot of money. And I got to pay that back, y'all. <laughs> so it would be good to stay on the land where I could see the sunrise, the sunset. And any money saved will be put right back into the food forest project. We have lots of more things that we need to do out there, y'all. And one of the things we'll be doing is opening it up to the bigger community so they can come in and also learn some good permaculture techniques. Because we want everybody in the whole Jambanjiba area that's interested to be able to have their own small permaculture gardens. And the ones that have more land, their own permaculture food forests. We want that to become a habit, a habit of plenty everywhere. So one day, everybody in the area be self-sufficient and food secure. So until the next time, y'all, click on that link to the GoFundMe. Give your best gift of $5 or more. Give with all your heart, y'all. It'll make you feel good. And the Most High will bless you even better. Until the next episode, y'all. Peace, peace, power to the people. And I'm out, y'all. Bye.